Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get the game Diablo 3 working on the M1 or M2 Apple Silicon Mac. So this tutorial is going to show you how to download and install Battle.net and it's also going to show you how to get this game working on Apple Silicon hardware. So if you haven't subscribed already then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So we're going to go to the Battle.net website which I'll leave a link to in the description and then we're going to press this button which is download battle.net and this is going to take us to the downloader. We're going to allow downloads from blizzard.com, press allow and once that's downloaded we're going to go down and open finder then we're going to go to our downloads folder and then double click on battle.net dash setup. So here it's asking us whether we're sure we want to open it, press open. So here it's asking for the language, we're going to press continue and now we're going to enter our local administrator password and press and then press ok. So this is saying it's updating battle.net update agent. Here we're going to type in an administrator password again and press update settings. So now it's asking us where to install. We're going to let it install in its default location. I'm going to uncheck launch battle.net when the computer starts. Press continue. Now it's going ahead and downloading and installing battle.net. So here it's saying it's starting battle.net. So now we're going to log in with our username and password. So if you've not used Battle.net, you can go ahead and create a free Battle.net account. You're going to need this if you want to play any Activision or Blizzard games on your Mac. I already have an account with games, so I'm going to press the login button here. And then I'm going to type in my email address and password. So when you open up for the first time, it's going to scan for games, but I'm going to press close here and then continue. Here it's giving us the tour of the launcher, telling us how to find games and our friends list, etc. So we're going to find on the main menu of the launcher are all of the games that you can download and install. So there's a whole bunch here. And you also have our favorites bar at the top here. If you go to the shop section, you can basically buy and purchase many different games. Just be aware if you're trying to run these on the Mac, only some of these are available for Mac operating system. So just make sure to check before you download and buy anything. For example, we can't run Call of Duty Warzone or games like Call of Duty Vanguard, etc. Those don't have Mac versions, but plenty of others do. So in order to download and install Diablo 3, what I'm going to do is to press on the Diablo 3 favorite or find it in this list of all games. So we can actually find it here under Diablo 3. And then what we're going to do is to go to the bottom left and press the install button. And then this is going to ask us to install into the default location. It requires 17.8 gigabytes at the time recording. Once we're ready to go, we're going to press the start install button and then it's going to start its download. So wait until this percentage bar completes and then you'll be able to move on to the next stage. So once the download's complete, we're going to head and press the play button and then we're going to launch the game. Here it's asking for access to files in our documents folder, press OK. So now it's logging into the server and we've got into the main game. So I'm just going to log into my private game here. So this is all loaded up correctly and we're ready to play Diablo 3 on the Apple Silicon Mac. So now this is how you get Diablo 3 working on Apple Silicon hardware. This is running as an Intel application through the Apple Silicon Mac, but when the screen is focused in, it's running great. It's running at nearly 60 frames per second on this windowed mode, and it's perfectly playable even on the base M1 chip. So now I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other game tutorials like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.